um, the mobile library service, the consultation finished, I went out to meet the mobile library band at the end of August, after the end of August. And of course, it's well because it's very important for people of all ages. They have a nursery school children as well, and older people and families. And I, I put in a very long um, consultation response to say that it needs to stay. Um, please keep writing to the leader of the county council and the chief officer, tom.mckay, mccaz, norfolk.gov.uk, um, andrew.proctor.cl, uh, norfolk.gov.uk, because we need to pay that service. But the county council and the borough council have both concerned that they want to go ahead with the 12.4 million plan to move the county library into the house. Now, this the old Argo shop and the Borough Council has sold the, um, the, the, the old Argo shop to the County Council. Now, the thing is that in the papers that went to the Borough Council Committee, um, the, the County Council only agreed to run this now for 10 years, making 12.4 million for a building for a library and our education, but they wanted to run for 10 years. They wanted to have a lot of spaces in it to. Um, to hire out to businesses like a sort of innovation centre um, um, and have a training kitchen and a cafe and other things. And I pointed this out, I wrote to the section on the one officer of the borough, the financial officer, and the rest of the this was quite right because they, the, the, the borough had actually claimed that there'd be 32 million worth of benefits to the community from the hub, health benefits and education benefits. Um, and the section one five one officer the, the county has been told that the 10 years will be acceptable and it's now at least 25 years. And the benefits that they're saying um, would be realised to be for the first 30 years. I don't think that's quite right, but it could be well. Um, as our present um, library building has been now for 20 years, I think it's very poor value for the money. The taxpayers, the building subsidies are the only constitute 25 years. Um, they want to keep the existing framework. Just put in internal pieces and extensions and things like that um, within the framework. So that would all cost a lot of money, which I think is not a lot of money. Great time to cost the money for our to go to our hospital. Um, so those are the main, main things um, there. I've had a request to get an update regarding the cost of the island um, that we talked about having in the middle of all the well, and um, the so, so I will, um, will do that. And residents have asked about uh, base shows, right? It's in hand with the parish getting the data from the sand pond, which the the borough of the county highway has to have. So that's um, a very quick um, update. One last thing is there was a safeguard and review of the county council regarding the three young people that had died in the private medical hospital run by Chief which was then closed down. And um, as a result, the all the people that were in that, the people with learning disabilities are all of them. And now in the community, we need a much more um, successful life. And um, the, the, the Care Quality Commission went around the whole of England to look at the children's fighting space. Because it turns out that one of the people in there, and um, all that was wrong was that the person didn't really understand what they read, and they'd been put into a mental so the county got to, um, and the NHS got to uh, get their act together and make sure that there's much more consultation with people with autism and disabilities to make sure that they're living in the community with the right support and they're not in these private hospitals run by the members of shareholders and the law commission are looking at changing the law so that these people running these places could be guilty of criminal liability if they know what's going on with their living And the um, that are being stopped, a lot of about 15, I think it is 15 people are trying to run these private medical hospitals to do with the right culture and the right care. So there's quite a lot to be um, you know, on your guard to watch for that because things are to say that they should be doing the best part of the case. So are there any other questions? Uh, you mentioned the early doors about. Uh, uh, 
type of people maybe going to somewhere to drink and that. Uh, I think the church has staff yeah. or something like that. Is the uh, is there any extra funding that uh, is this something like the county council can give? Because yeah. I'm sure Deborah would like any extra funding she could possibly get. Actually, Judith is definitely the information about it. Okay. Yeah. Um,
belongs to the owner, which is the county council, who was this uh, government act, local government act in the 1970s, that gave them the property because they were the life authority. So they would own it. So you can have, have control of that asset that the county council could sell it off to whoever who might do something with it, you know, for a while, and then do something like that. Like the county council's got a lot of money to buy because the one thing they want is to build this nourished city to road west of Lee, and they've got to buy 37 million. And they've just sold off nourished airport just to go this stage to buy it. Okay. Okay. Uh, we move on that. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to be sitting in for a few minutes to do the keynote. Okay, um, after the success of last night of uh, putting the penalty nukes on the flow tip and burning operation schedule, the council have um, sort of prosecuted and put fixed penalties on two more flow tippers. Apparently, we've got time, 300 pound fees. Then they pay it off with a slow part, particularly in care cheaper. Similar to Gabbro mentioned a few weeks ago, um, shortly acceptance letters will be sent out to uh, people who have um, applied with personal recommendations, and that should be on the 17th of October, they start receiving them. And the people will have until the 25th of November to decide if they want uh, to accept. Um, yeah, except. Um, they said that uh, in uh, Kingston and West Norfolk, there's the largest number of people who have registered, registered for the scheme. So, um, it's one down to Wellington Clean. The planning department, because they were short staff, they have recruited two new staff in the technical, technical support. But we're still looking for a team leader post that was going forward for that, apparently. Um, so the backlog of applications should start to go down. Uh, still funded allocations, uh, we've got these figures. Um, so far, they've allocated um, 2.1 million and actually paid out because the last lot still hasn't been paid out or any of that. Um, Three hundred and eighty eight thousand five hundred and ten pound forty seven pence. And that's on a hundred and twenty five projects. Uh, and that's all for me. Okay. Uh, mentioned the last time I was here and I did look at buying a Christmas tree one what you can plant if you like with a root on now I did ring must be eight nine ten different places um, one of the main places at Eldington um, but they don't sell trees with roots on yeah um, he said to me he says it won't work he said, you can't get an established Christmas tree with roots on. He said, because they just will not grow. He said, you'll just be wasting your money. He said, what you need to do, he says, to buy one in a pot. Um, I'm talking, you know, he, I spoke to a couple of other places, and they said, if you buy one about four or five foot, the highest you'll be, get one is about five foot. Well, and then replant that. And then plant that. If it's already grown in a pot, they said you, that would work. Yeah. But if you try and do a bare root or a ball, they just will not take. Yeah. And well, that, that, that is a plan that we've got in future, because we did say we'd like to grow one, and then put up just 
just short term, we do need to look for a, a tree we've got to put up this year. Yeah, sure. Uh, but, but going on from there, yeah. if you want to do that, you need to be planting that any time now. It's yeah. no good planting it in the spring yeah. because someone will have to run up there with a bucket of water every night. Yeah. It needs to be planted yeah. now. So we could, we could like do that twofold then, can't we? If somebody looks at getting one in a pot uh, that's suitable for what we need, it needs to grow quite big. Uh, I spoke to a nursery at Felthorpe. Yeah. Um, and their cost was around about £54, and that would be about four foot high. Yeah. Would everybody be happy with that? As long as he's a tall grower. Yes, he's a fun Yeah, well, we will, we'll, we'll take it. I'm just saying, if we can start doing the legwork for it, and go to uh, as a finance, if we can afford it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it pretty important? Yeah. 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 Okay, so the second phase then is uh, probably for. Getting a Christmas tree for this year that we need to grow up. Obviously, we had one given last year, which we can't be donated, but I think we're going to need to buy one this year. Uh, do we remember where we got the old ones from? I can't remember. Uh, is, will, you be able, will you be able to find out for us, please? Uh, we needed quite a substantial one. Uh, I what do you reckon the style was of that one last year? 15? Maybe? Yeah. Anything 15 and above, if you can get as a price, and, and then we'll have to take that to the finance as well. Yeah. Yeah. You also need to consider, because we go for this rotunda every year, with the actual rest on it, because when you, the higher you get, the more just is involved. Well, last time we got uh, Lester to put it up for us uh, with his uh, tractor. He, he kind of twizzled the open and made a bit just while I'm on it, uh, I have got a picture actually, someone's gave us a tree but we just need to work out where we could put it. Uh, if you can just pass it around. They didn't bring it in because I didn't want to put it in the car. Uh, if, you had, if, you had, if you had that round Rob, just uh, People found thoughts where we might want to put that. I mean, we've got we've got quite a large area where we could put it. Uh, Isn't that just what you said? Rain would get old. The only thing uh, I'm not sure how tall that goes, uh, and we've been given that. And I, I'm not really good with trees, so I know it's a Christmas tree, but it might be only one that maybe ten foot or something. Uh, you know, it's about the same. What you're talking about is a normal tree, probably four foot. It looks much like it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to put some in, and then it only grows to ten foot. But well, surely it would be better to put it somewhere where you put the other Christmas tree. Surely. Well, well, originally what we said we'd do was we said we, you know, where the Christmas tree will be when they should the roundabout. We said they'd put it somewhere close to that one, and we could keep putting it up until it gets high enough, so we could start going that one. We did say we'd have another one. Uh, Else. So, so you've got to be reasonably near where the electric is, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, for placement at the moment, I, I, I don't know if you think that'll grow at all, but that could be the one, but... Three and a pot? We did, a long time ago, we did say we'd get two trees and put them at two different locations. Yeah. So at least in your mind, just have a think about that. We'll still get a price on, on one that we think... I well, think that, that would be ideal. Yeah, I really, so. really do. Yeah. And that would be silly to let it go. I've got to see me back out, so if we have let it go, we've got it. That's just right. a matter of... We look forward to seeing it up in a few years' time, won't yeah. <laughs> 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 we? Yeah. Well, we already said the location, we already said we'd go in the roundabout, but... We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. Yeah, you can. No, the idea is that's the that's the long-term one. Yeah, but we, so we did pass out the farm set. Yeah, we did agree. Down. Yeah, we did agree that the long term one, we said two. Originally, we said in the Jubilee Garden and at the roundabout. Right. And we said once that established at the roundabout, we won't buy them anymore and we'll put the lights up. But if we put this at the roundabout, because we did say we'd have two, but if we just get one, put it at the roundabout in a place, say, 10 foot away from where we're going to put the tree we buy every year, that you still be within the, the place for the lighting. As long as it's within a certain distance from the line, but the, uh, 
Yeah, I think that, that needs to be thought out a little bit more carefully because because once that starts establishing. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I see what you're saying, but I, 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 I just wondered if there was a, a, a better way of implementing that by putting that somewhere less. It needs to be near electric, and it, it's for the future where we're going to keep putting lights on it. Right, but if you're thinking that we will we'll, just go up for that year, or it'll stay permanent. permanent. That'll be permanent. permanent. So we're planting it in, and then it's going to wait until it's hopefully 15 or 20 foot high, and then use that for say five or six years until we think Got it's it. too high, Got it. then cut it down. Yeah. 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 So, okay. okay. We're okay with that. There's another thing. Uh, They've seen some lights at 80 pounds. I know we can wait until uh, for, for the Christmas tree. They're, they're quite long. Uh, it, 25 meters. 25 meters, and it's 80 pounds. I mean, we can take it to the finance committee, but I just want everybody to be happy with that. It's just adding the lights on that we use. Is it something more than the existing ones? Well, they need sort out because last year they got cut, so we yeah. should get some up twice on probably even three times. Yeah. And we may well, need, well, 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 need a few more as well. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, We'll take it to finance and see if they've got one in there. Is that okay, Robert? Yeah, great. That's, uh, that's it for me. Uh, can I put it Yeah, um, that's an easy one for me. Yeah. The updates I get, I send out as soon as I get them, so you should be receiving updates on a fairly regular basis. The only one I didn't have time to send because I only got it this evening uh, was that the planning portal will be unavailable on the 7th of October at noon until the 10th of October sometime in the afternoon. So if you want to go on the planning portal, then it won't be available at those times. That's not my Great. Well, do you see that? Has she left any messages? Or no, not to me. No. Okay. Uh, open forum. Does anybody like to speak in the open forum? No, no more. Do you, uh, do you want to say something about finance? Uh, yes, actually, yes. The um, member of the watch would like the parish council's permission, please, to wrap the member of watch signs. I have spent some time, quite a length of time, with not the county council trying to figure out who's not which belong to whom. They actually sent me a list, which I think is quite useful, and I'll pass it on to James if I can get it. Um, but uh, the ones that are in the parish councils uh, control, we, we just need permission um, to put up the signs, really. Uh, that's about it. So. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. They are going. Maybe one second. I would suggest as many places as possible. Yeah. It, the idea is that they're going to go in proxy to. And entrances to into and out of the village. Um, so like have a circle around the village. Yeah, yeah. So nobody can get in without seeing them. Yeah, that's right, pretty much. Um, so we've got the one out here, Blackwell's Road, number one. Um, this is Beverly Way. Number three, Robin Kirkland Way. Forty Nine Warners Road. Some of these aren't belonging to the Baptist Hospital. Uh, some of them on North Cape Coast. One Hall Road, uh, 24 Small Hollands Road. These are the, these are the map list numbers, by the way. Uh, so we 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 do have the relevant, obviously, the Nova Watch has the relevant insurance for the signs um, and for erecting them, etc. So there's no liability there. We've got the proper uh, installation height, all, all the proper kicking, fittings, etc. We've got all that now. Sorry? There is one down the Lincoln State area. We just we popped one up literally on the corner of where the lamp post is. Where the where the, where the only lamp post is. Yeah. There's nowhere else where we can put it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do. I don't think you mentioned Perry Road, did you Rob? Mention Perry Road? The reason why we can't, the reason why there's a problem with Ferry Road is there's no lamp post on Ferry Road. <laughs> it's, it's, un, it's unfortunate. Um, you're not allowed to erect them on um, traffic signs, etc. We're supposed to be putting a post up there for the speed camera down Ferry Road. So once that's up, that will be on the post. Yeah. 
Well, it's going to be uh, halfway down Ferry Road where the, the house is yeah. starting. Oh. It's a little bit further down. Oh, so further down the halfway west down Ferry Road. Halfway down Ferry Road, there's uh, about three semi detached houses on one side on the road. Right, on the right, on the straight bit going yeah, down. Yeah, on the straight bit. Anywhere down there. We're getting a postal there. Oh, brilliant. So, a a anywhere down there would be brilliant. Just one other thing, how are we going to put them on the gates going into the village as well? We have put the larger ones onto the gates. Right. Uh, obviously, we've, we've, we've put the ones at the Terrington end, obviously on the other side of the road, and we've put one at the entrance, obviously into Catchwood, and, and we've, we've put those two up. Those are, those are really up. Um, as I said, um, Northern Cape Council have been really supportive. They said that that's, they, there shouldn't be any problems, but obviously, uh, just as, as a, of course, get permission. Are we alright with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Can we, can we suspend Sunday August Ryan 21 so members of the public can talk about Christmas, please? Right. Shall we do that now while we're being silly without we're in the mood for Christmas? Shall we do that now? <laughs> yeah. Does everybody have to do with that? Yeah. Okay, just suspend the meeting for a sec. So Christmas, uh, Steve? Um, I think we've got two, two things here. No, maybe it's just one. Um, I think Sophie wanted to talk about um, uh, Christmas lights. So um, in the church and the sea park are going to be doing some from the Jubilee Garden as well. Right. So, so um, we've got a bit further, just we're, we're thinking about doing a, a, a what's called Christmas market. Yeah. And um, sort of set up sort of a few sort of thoughts um, with, with uh, um, maybe some kind of issue there or one night we could eventually start facing it. Maybe more than family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'll let us know close to the time when that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should have been happy with that. Going back on that, Steve, you did mention to me about a bench there, but I haven't heard anything since. Yeah, I missed you last meeting, so, yeah. so I've, I've got some details. Do you want me to just email you online?
the kids are screaming because the sun is on this flag. I, think, yeah. I just can't believe I think, I think it's different, different people. The more, the more we do as a village, the more we do as a village, I can't. There's only one, there's only one winner. Yeah, there's only one winner, and it'll be kids, you know, mm -hmm. even if someone else does it. I think there's a substitute for. Yeah, I think it's a good one. That's just what we do. Even if somebody else wants to do it, that'll be even better. Because you've got three or four things going on. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, sometimes, I can't remember, was it the playgroup that I did in here, or was it you that No, it was the playgroup came in and helped yeah. I mean, you know, Santa came in here and did stuff like that. I don't think you were here, was you? You weren't here. Right. <laughs> 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 as, long, as long as you're not doing things on the same day, as long as you're not doing things on the same day, I think the more things you do, the better. <laughs> Christmas switch on lights is always a point. And when they come in, it's very nice.
<laughs> well done, Kev. So business rate is limited to a million bids. I think that's the one in the Invoice P 970413 7542 6285, which will pay £12.57 DD. Uh, local clerks at 10 feet of mileage, invoice 222303, uh, 101935, which is 101935. Uh, VJ Knitwear, PPE Workwear for New Grand Person, inventory 352150, £104.58, £87.15, and we're getting 1743 on uh, that. Uh, ground person still from repair, forty-eight pound. Uh, ground person refund for cost of timber and petrol, thirty pound. That comes to uh, grand total of three thousand and ninety-seven pound uh, fifty. We will be paying two eight seven four sixty-four, and we're getting two hundred twenty-two pound eighty-six back. Is everybody happy with those accounts? Or a couple of money ones and packets. Yeah. 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 Do you
Uh, eight and nine to further discuss further action are a HTV movements within Clenchwall and Parish. Okay, now confirm there are no rules about the time in which plant vehicles can operate on a normal um, highway. Yeah. So they can they can drive up and down highways at any time. Uh, I've always I've always been told, yeah, that, that uh, and I know the farmers I know know the same thing. <coughs> They're only allowed to work on the farm on on the land until eleven o'clock at night. I know they have to finish. I don't know if that's openly available or not. But that, that's what I've been told. I've done extensive research and I've not been able to find any. Would you be able to find that out there uh, through the group? That may be true, but it doesn't stop them driving on a public road. You're right. Yeah, you're right. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying that the farmers even know that, and that's what I've been told. Certainly don't apply to that, so they'll be working on the fields of the house at 5 o'clock in the morning. <coughs> if they're harvesting peas and that sort of thing, they're going to 24 hours a day. I couldn't, I couldn't find any legislation on timing. I don't think what I've been told. I don't think it's a. I think it's just a. On the road, I think they don't do anything on the road. They tax, don't they? So you can do anything on the road. There's no, there's no time restricted you can travel on the road, is there? Probably can't the road. Yeah. I'll, ask, I'll ask to see where they, they've got their information from. But that's what they're telling me. You know. But that's the working time, not the actual travelling time. No, maybe not. Yeah. That's on the field. given the urgency and concern uh, of harvest and food production. I'd be very surprised if you found any legislation. But I, I tend to agree with what Steve said. <coughs> the way these huge Tonka toys are being driven by Robbie and his crew, that's better not mention names, but there are other names to put them on the front of the tractors, don't they? Um, there is going to be a, an accident before long. Um, <coughs> you may remember that the... Um, I think it was the son of the Police and Crime Commission for Norfolk he was jailed because he ran his damn great tractor right over a lady's car and killed her. I think he was on the phone at that time. Well, whatever. Yeah. Um, but the way these, these things are driven, I think, is very concerning. So, for me, it comes down to talking to the farmers and moral persuasion. We could have, perhaps, suggest, we could suggest maybe a meeting. How many farmers are there around here? I don't know. Probably not very many because they tend to be quite big units, don't they? Yeah. I mean, if we had a meeting with the main farming people and put the concerns to them. The problem we have uh, a couple of farmers around here now is they don't farm the land themselves. They, uh, they, they kind of have the land. Yeah, I mean, you could find out whoever was actually responsible operationally and, no, and, and have them in. No, no challenge. I think that's the only way to do it. Well, the contractors, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, actually, yeah. 
They won't want to have a situation where there is not goodwill towards the farming community. And at the moment, I think they're in danger of, um, of sacrificing some of that. The only two I know at the moment are the uh, Symington and Browns. Uh, Symington don't come down here much. He ain't got any land around here at all. Two Browns of Reynolds, they land down now, which pretty much surrounds the village. Yeah, but that's... Um, I don't... GMB have got land down towards the bank. Yeah, down the yeah, bank. Yeah, the Germans have got that land, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's, and, that's yeah. and that's all down Terrence and Marsh as well. But um, Adrian, uh, what's his name, Tim Flux, has got all Nick Lane's land. Uh, Adrian Flux's mm -hmm. son. Yeah. But then, of course, it's um, what's his name from some Germans. What farm that? <coughs> James Cayley. What mm -hmm. farm that? Maybe we should get a few names together and uh, It looks like we've got a few names. Yeah. Maybe we should get uh, yeah. a few names and send them into James. See if we can like have a name to one. I don't think you'll find as much of James Cayley's problems. I don't think because they don't really come right into the village. But it's it's the GB. Is it GB? Yeah. Or G anyway, yeah. the German company. They're the ones with the big tractors and the trailers because they've got a lot of pigs down. Yeah. Tarrington, I don't know if they've got any name country. There's no pigs down there. Certainly don't Tarrington. Sorry? There's arrows down the country. Sorry? It's just arrows. Yeah. yeah. But I think they do move around because they've got a they farm thousands, and I mean thousands of acres now in within 25, 30 mile radius of here. And uh, of course they've got pigs which they move from field to field. So we need to get a, a new place of farmers that we can probably outreach to them. So if they, if they want to send them in the contact details, they've got any, names to If anybody can find any contact details on any farmers, the uh, uh, state manager for GMB is at uh, Southern, near where the farm PCA I wouldn't know, Dick, I... Slide on him. Maybe you should talk to him. <laughs> yeah. So, sh shall we try and get some names? Yeah. And then maybe come from that. Yeah. We'll try and get some names. And then we'll get some names. Yeah. Right. Uh, to receive update on the meeting of 25th of August regarding the parish poll and decide on any further action. Uh, because I missed the last meeting, we did say that once we knew when the parish poll were, we did agree that we would uh, have a meeting, an informal meeting here with anything that we should put on a. Sorry, I just think that you want to interrupt it. No, 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 sorry, I was going to say, I think we should say that we Yeah. Well, that, I mean, that's 
around this table who won't uh, believe me, I, I am actually as concerned as anybody to get a new building, clearly, or at least a renovated building. Clearly what's there at the moment is in a heck of a state. But it does just occur to me, with the cost of living crisis, etc., etc., is this the moment to put a proposal to the village? We want to get a positive answer. We want to get yes, a resounding yes from the village that we will support a new building. But is this the moment, given the people's bills are going to the roof? And we, get, we say to them, I we're think probably going to add on a certain amount to your council tax. I mean, I'm not grinding an axe, I'm just saying, is it the moment? That's all. At the end of the day, we've gone through all that process, and if the village say no, I'll let us know. Well, but if, it, if they say no, it's dead for a generation, yeah, isn't it? So, so not yeah. really. No. Isn't it? No, because then if the village keep say going no, back. No, but if the village say no, then hopefully we can go out to yeah. people yeah. who would like to give money, you know, who would, uh, I'm trying to think of the word now, sponsor, well, sponsor, sponsor if you like. It is, it's not, it's not just a yes or no vote yeah. as well. We had a meeting and we, we picked three questions and they were quite well yeah, yeah. yeah. And So even if one or one of those questions is no, we've still got two questions that is yes or no. And so it just means it restricts what the parish can do. You know, at the end of the day, that's for the village to decide. We have no choice anyway because we've, we've, we've had a parish meeting, yeah, exactly, yeah. and we've agreed to do it, so yeah. we've to do it. Yeah. I mean, I'll go back, that's right, yeah. uh, I just rest my case. But, <laughs> but that's where we are, I mean, that's where we are, we've agreed to do a meeting, but we're going to wait for a vote, then we'll have that meeting. It'll be an open meeting for people here, which we've mentioned before. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 11. To discuss the presentation from suitable consultants regarding the energy plan for Clenchworth uh, Parish and decide on further actions. Is that something that you would end or? Uh, it's a chosen subject. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've, I've presented council with two consultants, mm -hmm. both of which have got quite a decent reputation, yeah. one of which has won an award. Um, they've both got totally different approaches to neighbourhood planning. One says, They'd be happy to come and do a presentation, uh, give you quotes and everything. The other one feels that it's better that the council do some legwork before yeah. it gets to that stage. Yeah. So there's two different approaches there. From, from, from a neighbourhood plan, mm -hmm. I know it's going to be quite involved. Do we think that we should maybe have a separate meeting to, to iron these things out? The idea behind the food. <coughs> If I make nobody else is going to say, um, the, the point of the neighbourhood uh, plan it, it, it detached itself almost, not 100% detached itself, but it, it sets itself up as a separate body, well, entity. Yeah, entity. Yeah. 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 and then bringing that back into the parish council, like any working party, which, so, is, which is a good idea. Yeah, which is a good idea. So, really, all that should happen is someone's going to kickstart it off, and I believe. David, myself, Councillor Burshaw at the time, were the, the spearheads behind that. And all, all that really has to happen is, 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 is that we need to go out to the community and, and, and approach them and say, right, this is happening, we want your input, um, we're going to hold a meeting, insert a date here, boom. So it, that's, that's what has to happen. Obviously, if anybody else would like to be involved in that, all means. Everyone's involved. Everyone's involved. Yeah. If it helps, I've worked on three main plans. Yes. And uh, I've just got one from the Santa through to the yeah. 16. So, yeah. Um, when I say I've worked on them, I've worked on them on a consultant today. So I have quite a bit of experience. I'm not suggesting I take on plans for yeah. or even blind on it, but, but I have quite a lot of background and experience. If it helps, if I attend the meeting, I'll be happy to do that. We've just out of the field, we need to know what's going to cost. We 
you can claim money back. Yeah. Because yeah. we want somebody at the council who would have come out and give it all. Right. But then yeah. uh, the new woman, she only want to do it between was it nine or four, yeah. Yeah. and on Zoom, you know, that's getting everybody together. Yeah. Well, so, so, so the primitive, we, we do definitely do need to start mm -hmm. a separate meeting because if we bring it to this meeting, then we'll have you looking at this one item for an hour. Yeah. So it needs a good start. What, what we need to do is do we do we think about starting a meeting before Christmas, or do you think we should wait straight after Christmas? What would you like to do? Well, well, I agree with that. I would suggest you do it sooner rather later because if you want, we have to pay a consulting on the money in the budget to do it. So, so it's October now. Would you be thinking November, December? Should we get the preset meeting out of the way first? Because well, that's be a big one. Based on what, what, what Richard just said, yeah. we, we do need to have an idea of the cost of the consultants and at least the budget. Ground, ground time of the So, shall we have it before preset? Yeah. In my head space, I think it would be better to. Um, be overly prepared rather than unprepared. Oh, yeah, if, no, if, if the France menu, which is brilliant, that's, that's fantastic. That, that's fantastic. But if we if a consultant that cost us £10,000, we need to go back to the before the pre-set meeting and say, right, we need £10,000. We're starting to talk about nation budget on the 27th. Yeah, so, so we need to be using that for the 27th. Last discussion, it all starts. So, when would you be the plan? Um, or oh, I would say, um, my experience with consultants, when well, they give you a quote, uh, it, 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 by explaining to you, it exactly matches the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Shocker. I'm really <laughs> surprised by that statement. Yeah. And you give back anything you don't expect. Sure. Yeah. 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 I'm sure you do. So, <laughs> so, so it's, it's three weeks for the free to have. Uh, You've, you've either got, if you want to do it on a Thursday, which we know are usually free, uh, you've either got the 13th or the 20th. Yeah, so the 20th is in two weeks, which is enough time because it's a week before the precepts. When can we get one of these consultants in the, the, the magic question? If they, can they do, I think we need to go back. Do we want them to be at this meeting? Well, all we need for the first meeting no. is our first thing. No. I, yeah. I don't I don't know everybody's background on labour planning, but um, I think uh, it would be wise to look at all the processes involved, all the stages, the commitment that's involved, the grant application, mm. um, the decision to set up a working group and then uh, and decide uh, well, decide first of all if you definitely want to go forward. Really, the first meeting is the questions, and uh, like you say, a grant. I mean, we know how much the grant would be, yeah. then we can take that to the preset. And you'd probably have more information for the preset. I mean, if you were on a dip, if you did decide to go in, you could bring that to the preset and say, well, we didn't need to figure it out. I mean, it's not 100% accurate, it's not really an issue, as long as it's not massively. Shane, it's what you know. You, you say you've been involved with three other, you know, villages, whatever. Would you know the cost roughly, or? Um, there's a grant available each year, starting in April, so it's still available to, to last over until next April. And there's about, um, I think the first year grant is about seven thousand five hundred, uh, which, uh, but that will take you all the way. To get all the way through the plan, we may be looking at the commitment of anything up to uh, two and a half years. So, are we talking about two and a half years for that figure? No, no, we get a grant every year. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. The grant will cover the cost of a consultant, I guarantee you that. But whether you think that's necessarily the best way to do it or not, is your decision to make. So, so you're saying the seven hours for the consultant. So, would us as a parish maybe need to add to that? Because then that would come to the preset the next year. The thing that could cost you money um, is the public consultation. Because yeah. you're obviously going to need to hire a group. Yeah. You're going to need to be available, or you're going to talk to people. Yeah. So that's um, not going to be big as well. 10,000 yeah. next year's budget. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. And then we're, yeah. we should be covered for that year, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. based on that, then, do we need to do it before the preset? No, because, I, I, sorry. 
So I said we could, we could get the grab and get some nine thousand back. Yeah. So we have got to we've got to spend money to start with. Hmm. Do you have to pay the pay them, them claim the grant or? No, you, you get the grant. You get the grant and or front. Oh, right. and, and, uh, you pay the bills and anything that's left you have to give back. Um, so if we put two and a half thousand pounds in the budget, that would cover some reason. Yeah. Just based on that as well. Over three years. Well, two and a half months, two and a half months next year. And the year after that. And well, the year and after we can see how it goes. We don't have to spend that much more than this much year, but you can make that judgment. But the only thing, Dick, you've got a guarantee you've got to get 7,000. So would it be better if you went to 5,000, do you think? And you've got a lot of it in. We say you get it. The grants are as, as good as guaranteed. Right, as good as good as guaranteed. So if we started before, we've got enough reserves to use what we need to, and then get money in April. We can go back into the reserves if we need to. Very Makes sense to me. Knowing how grants work, would it not be more sensible to stick to the 10? Because it, it, at the end of the day, it's a. It's a it's a budget, isn't it? We've, we've allowed for it. Well, we can always take it out. We can always take it out of reserves if we have to. So okay. that's not an issue. If there's lots of I'm going to get it back. We can take it out of reserves. Just saying, if we wanted to pay before and before we'll be before April, right. we've got the money there anyway. Right. And then we just put that seven thousand back in the reserves. I'd suggest that as soon as you make a decision to go involved, you get a grant application and straight away. Can we just leave this month then, and then work out when we do want to have a separate meeting? All we need to do is make sure that we. That's bigger. On the three weekend, weekend. Yeah. Which is on the 27th in three weeks, which we know we're going to do anyway. Yeah, I don't think we'll get it all done that day, but yeah. I think it'll be, so it'll be October, November with two meetings that we'll do. Yeah, so right. yeah, we minute it so that we know yeah. exactly where we, what we, what we, well, some of the proposing person have got to agree it, haven't we? Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'd put two and a half thousand pounds in. You need one of next year. Oh, I'm sure. Yes, I'm nervous, so I say to you. Because we'll get, even if we don't get the grant straight away, but we know we're going to get it, we can still take the extra percent of our reserves and put it back in reserves when we get the grant. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as if the money's not there, but it's not going to push up. James, if we put, we put, get the seven, so if I put 10 in, if we put 10 in, then it's going to push up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good point. Good point. Yeah. Good point. I'm already in the grant. Yeah. yeah. He's probably the one that gives it. He's not going to allocate it to the grand yeah. council. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll second that. Yeah. Yeah. Is everybody all right with that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, to receive reports from working party, I need you to be going and agree any further action required, including possibly lighting, game locking, and provision of bins. Are you going to speak to Robert or Steve? Yeah, Steve. Yeah. Steve? I'll speak to you. Um, yeah, I think Garland's done really. Uh, this this what we set out to do has been done. Um, we had a, a little plan, plan a little bit there, uh, which the kids are quite upset about. But um, the, the line is now working on the centre, so that's good to encourage that social behaviour. Um, we're looking to put some benches in there, and we've got, we have part funded already. So, from from the school, um, and the other thing was a thing. It did say that. And game locking? Um, I'm, I'm not sure where that's come from because I, I don't think we can really lock the game because you, you can't lock the game to go to the player in there. So, yeah. What about locking the game to the field or not? not it's just some, something extra to monitor in it, really. It, it's just something else to sort of clear on in the light should. Yeah, should, should discourage people. So, the provision of bin then, have you, is that sorted or? Um, I sent a crow, I sent a, um, the, an example of bins that we were looking at to Judith. Yeah. And I, I thought we should circulate it. It's 700 um, plus the AT. It's a dual, dual bin. It's a large one, 114 litres. Um, one side has got general waste, and on the other side there's free cycling, which is a really key. So, because of the bin that Oh, I took it back to my when I was going to strip it, paint it up, but the metal just rotted away, so, so that was the idea behind it. So, so just thinking we've got that to do. So you sent it to Julie, I'm guessing she'll take it to finance probably. 
Um, well, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. I'll ask you about the finance. You told me to bring it to the yeah. Sorry, yeah. 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 Chasey, would you? I said, I said bring it here because then you'd probably get a decision before we take well, Not before we take the finance, but it's probably a better, better format. It's, it's finishing the play area. Uh, we just need to make sure we've got the money. Can you have Is there any chance you can that around just so you can show people? Yeah. Oh, do you want to come for it? Yeah. And, 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 and keep it simple. 
Yeah. Um, and they'll they will bring it out when they have a when they have their football session. Where they're big like is, is I think that's where they put the general waste in their big bins, you know, the big bin. Yeah. So if they do have a recycling area you've got so the ground would probably take it from yeah. that one to the big one. Yeah. Uh, just for auction. And the football club will also uh, uh, contribute because they will they will encourage their their members and so forth to separate their their waste too. Ooh. I'm under the impression that, that commercial waste streams they, they do separate anyway. So so it doesn't matter if you put general waste in the bin, it's separated post collection by by the waste carrier. That's, that's my understanding of it. No, it's it's not. I want to thought so. It's not. You see, initially we're trying to promote recycling. Yeah. yeah. And I think <coughs> now that they have separate bins at our homes, they yeah. just say put everything in one bin and we'll separate it later. Yeah. But they don't do that. They ask for specific cardboard. Yeah, they're so just get domestic waste stream, but I'm, I mean, I'm happy to, to be proved wrong in it. My, my understanding was that commercial waste, they, they separate in there. No. Commercial waste, you have to separate your cardboard, your plastics, your cans, and to some degree, the only thing that they, you can mix is your glass. Because when they do the sorting, the glass fall, the glass stays on top, the waste falls through. So they separate the glass that way. Um, um, but no, the actual recycled waste, the plastics, the, bot the plastic bottles, which is the majority of the stuff that you see are these plastic bottles. That's what most people are using, and the cans. So those are the things that that, that wow. are being encouraged to be recycled. Because if you put them in general waste, they potentially, I say the words carefully, end up in landfill. Or insulation. That's why that, that's why I didn't think that even commercial <laughs> would be separate. No. I thought they even wanted it as well. They like the cardboard and mm -hmm. you know, just can't see it's two different plants, aren't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think once you put it in the bin, it's in the bin. It's good to that's the problem. And every, and what we're doing is we're we're we're, we're, we're teaching the youngsters to, to separate the waste. Yet still as a council we're not. <laughs> we're saying chuck all in one bin and we'll and be done with it. So it's not a very good look for us. Anybody else got any thoughts? Four car tyres, or five, 
bedroom as well, right? On top of each other, and a dustbin bag in the middle. Yeah, believe it or not, I, honestly, I, I thought, what's all these tyres? Oh, yeah. Absolutely not, I thought people had been dumping them there. I thought they'd been dumping them there. Yeah, but they're not. Yeah. And if you go, you've only just got to go yeah. through Sutton right. Bridge, yeah. and then you'll see on the lay-by there, yeah. there's about three in a row, yeah. a few yards apart. I see, yeah. And then actually go further, they actually fold second-hand toilet seats on the top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, yeah, I'm not sure. We, I, don't think, I don't think the yeah. safe part looks tall. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I do get, I do get yeah. it if we're in the middle of nowhere, but I do, with, with the amount of time and effort spent on Jubilee Guy, I don't know if that would be the right. Well, I ain't saying it is, but I'm just bringing it to the right. I just, I just worried that somebody's leading sound the light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why can't we go to DGM Timber and see if they would like to sponsor uh, the outside and then go to the Borough Council and get a green bin and a brown bin and put it inside? DMG already sponsored the Duke of Garden for a sign paper. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a valid point, it's a good point. Um, if you was in um, um, town, venture into town, you'll see that they do have those bins with advertising sides on, um, another opportunity, possibly. Uh, however, we're not looking to do this commercially, we're trying to do this for environmentally speaking. I can understand what you're saying about the bins and the cost. Um, maybe if we can see we can get that cost down, that'd be, that'd be brilliant. But I still go back to the parish capital and say, what are you prepared to do? At the end of the day, we definitely need to get a bin. Yeah, I'm sure everybody agrees with that. And I think recycling will do more than recycling. Uh, I'd just like to point out, when, when we did, with the Jubilee Garden, we did put some money to one side just in case it overran, which I don't believe we went into. I mean, I, I agree we're trying to get the cost down, but I think we, we, we agreed to give 10000 just in case it ran over. We never would really use that. So maybe we could use something like that. And would the Borough Council um, give us a green bin and a black bin? I don't know. That's the, question. the thing is, you're still going to need something to house it and lock it. Mm -hmm. Because it would need locking. Do you know what I mean? Uh, what's the Do you mean a wing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, I mean, we can go and pinch one anyway. <laughs> on a Friday or something. Yeah, but there's lots of time there. Shall we, we revisit and try and, try and see if we can get a, a cost? I mean, that wouldn't cost a lot. If you had a green and a black bin, it would cost very, very little to build a little wooden frame around it. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. The, and I think, I think, well, I think so we can move on. I'm happy to... It's going to need to be robust. It's going to need to be robust. It's going to be complicated. What you've you, you you got to think about is whatever we use, it's going to be kid proof. Yeah. Or teenager proof, should I say. It needs to be teenager proof. Band proof. Yeah, well, that's what I would say. But yeah. It's yeah. going to be wood. Now they're going to set their life. So, you know, we've got to think of those things before we. Can we, can we revisit it and try and see what costs we can get down and then. Could, could you do that, Steve? Yeah, I mean, following the Sabbath, the chief is like about 400 quid. I mean, just a little... Yeah, I still think we should be going down the recycling route. Also, if you could agree on that. Chair, you're absolutely right. The, 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 the Jubilee Garden work didn't even tap into the money that was assigned to it. A lot of the work was given, uh, was gifted to us. Uh, so, so we, we didn't tap into that, um, and I just think that that, you know, that, that, that sort of stuff really. Uh, and of course, we've got the picnic tables going up. So the picnic tables, this is where people are going to be sitting and, and eating in the spring and summer. So that's another reason for consideration. So. And you want something nice there. I mean, yeah. the gardens are nice, and you need something nice there. Yeah, you, know, you do. Let's just have a look and have a look, see see what else is about there, and then. Bring it to me. Uh, I'll no, bring it to me. I'll ask at the school what we've got to sign. I'm sure they're going to pay £700 for their 10 on. So, can we bring everything to next meeting? Is that right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Okay. But we do definitely need something. So this is not in there. So one way or another, we have to put something in there. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Agree? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, continued location of planting of donated Christmas tree. Right? Done that. Yeah, no, we've done that. Well, because I, I mentioned it in, in the, the chair. Oh, okay. But we had agreed a year ago where the position of the, the two would be. But we, we can come to an agreement when we get the exact location of that when we when we decide. Yeah. Okay. To report health and safety matters uh, to be resolved. Uh, I don't know why that was down. You checked. Uh, yeah. So, is there any Car parts been fixed. Car parts been fixed. Yes, I would like to yes again say about the reeds that grow in Dan's I've already yeah, I've already had two I've already had two people mention to me uh, residents that they are it is an health and safety matter because uh, I tell you, it's Clapper Lane James uh, going towards Liverpool. Uh, when a car goes down there, there's nowhere for a pedestrian now to get to the side of the road, uh, so it, it's quite dangerous. I did yeah. send you an email about it, didn't I, James? With a little map, a little red line. Yeah. 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 If you need any, anything else, uh, uh, I spoke to the council, they said um, it will be short of the Rangers coming. I just took that long too late. I mean, it's down to it's down to yeah. three people, because three bridge houses. Back on to that guy, right. which is which is under their their <coughs> location. The agreement was yeah. has always been. The problem is is that they keep changing managers. So the agreement has always been that Freebridge will come along, normally around about this time of the year, slay it, dump it outside our uh, outside our house, and then come along and pick it up. Did you want to send me a few pictures? Um, yeah. Do you want me to I'll chase this. Steve, street lights on the main road where the little roundabout is. Number one hall road. Um, do you know the number? I'll send it to James and they still haven't been repaired. It's all been um, reported. I sent an email out today, I think it was, um, where they come back and questioned it. Um, all out of one. Yeah. Um, because he said one of the bomb outs is not planned to be there, and the other one is. And we wanted confirmation of, of, of you to make sure we were complaining about the one that should be there and not one. If you do send one, can you copy me in on that? I've got to do that. Okay, yeah. okay I'll look at So I'll send that email out to everybody. You've got two islands, one by the fish and chip yeah. shop. You've got the one near the little roundabout where there's only one island working. The one near the fish and chip shop, neither islands work. And um, the, 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 the street light on the main road isn't working. Well, they I think that's one three yeah. seven and number one all road. That's not working. They have definitely been reported. Yeah, no. Yeah. How long it takes them to fix them, I don't know. But uh, if it's not, maybe we will just stop their payment for the lawyer, and then they repair it. That you doesn't know. work that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only it didn't work that way. Yeah. Um, but you know, I mean, for those. Some, some of them, some of them, some of them are well, sorry. Not paying for those, they're only paying for our lights. Money we pay is not for those dollars. The lights what are wrong are being paid by the parish. <laughs> the only ones what are turned off are death, Robin Kirk and Way, which is run by the parish. The parish are paying for the ones that, that the county don't look after. Yeah. The, the county have the main road. Right? The county have the main road. The borough have some of the lights in the village and
Okay, can I just ask another quick question? Will it be useful? Have you got a list of which lights are comparable to no. the Right, so what I, the list I get. I think Judith has got one. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. a form. Yeah, she, she plays. Oh, of course. The bills, so. doesn't she? So if I can make that list, if I send it to you and Judith, you and Judith as well, yeah. that will be a huge one. Yes, it's better. And then you know where you can find me. Is that right? Yeah. Everybody else all right? Yeah. Uh, okay, to update report back to the council on personnel matters. Can that, that, that be closed? It should be closed, but that's not to report. That's not to report. No. Okay. Number 16, to discuss a working party for all road issues. All road issues. Um, Has anybody brought that up? I don't care what the last week. I don't care, so. Is car park at all road? But the football club wanted to remove the post and um, level it off so they could get more cars parked along it. That was. Oh, you mean uh, you mean in the, the sidecar park down the road? I mean, there shouldn't be. That's already been around. It's already in hand. Is there anything else anybody remembers for a separate? No? Well, on if you remember the whole period, remember we'll bring it back. Number 17, Church Ad Works, to discuss and agree on the actions including the placement of a dog bin. Uh, there have been some trivial works going on in the church. I'm not aware of anything to the dog bin myself. Have we still got a dog bin in, uh, in the main yeah. road? Uh, the dog, the dog bin on the side of the main road, yes. on the side of the church road, wasn't it? Yes. Like yeah. in the church yeah. oh, So we do have one, don't we? Yes. Yeah. So is that enough then? Oh. Well, uh, the one we had to spare is supposed to be going up on Bailey Bay. Really? Yeah, that was the first meeting that we had after the elections last time. So we needed another wow. thing. And we and it's still not been done. I don't know why. Oh, okay, so so that document that's in that sits there in the backfield near the backfield. So it's a spare one. So that is it. <laughs> that is it, that is a spare one, and it, we're not well. We're not paying for it. We've established we're not paying for it. So the groundsman enters it, um, and but it should be by some things down Bailey Lane. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, so by crossroads with Hall Road, Bailey Lane. So we've used that spare one on the back field. Is it working? Obviously, it is working. because it's empty. So we need a, another one for Bailey Lane. No, 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 no that no. is Bailey Lane. Yeah, but we'll keep that there if it's working. No, 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 no. You don't want to keep that there. <laughs> so. <laughs> So oh, some of this working, you want to move it away from the No, 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 don't forget, we are allowed to put dog waste into the regular bins. Okay. And there's two bins sit there. So people, it's really funny, really, because the dog waste walks and put the, the, the dog waste in the regular bin, and some will put it in the dog bin, yeah. and you've got now two wacky, really heavy bags Steve? to do with. It was agreed when uh, Jenny was doing the job yeah. that the, the dog bins would be replaced and they would be replaced with a normal bin because it was cheaper for the parish council than empty and get out, have a specialist person to come and empty a dog bin as refuge people would come and empty the normal bin. That's I why they put a, I think a normal the bin down for them go, not like any more dog bins, any new dog bins in, just for ordinary bins in. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so... I think we need to agree to replace the ones we already have. So if we've agreed to put a dog bin down Church Road, has that been agreed? Or yes, no, no. Yes. Yes, that's a good one. That's a good one. So, with so high rate permission or something. With high rate correct. So, so if we move permission. the dog bin from the football field to Church Road, and then we put, we agreed to a normal bin going down Bailey Lane, if that's what you're suggesting. Is that what you're suggesting? Or I'll be quiet. Some of this is a bin. Some of this is a bin, yes. Okay. A okay. bin, so bin, bin. bin. Can we take that to finance then for a normal dog bin? The bin on the field will go to Church Road, and then we once need to approve. Once it's approved, and then you go to finance. So we go to finance three years ago. So we need to buy another bin. We need a bin for Bailey Lane. There was a problem that took me, because you had to get the borough council, the borough council, the county council to agree that it's not in the way. Apparently that took nine months. Right. Wow. And then. And then I think you just got the wrong. <laughs> so so they've been agreed? Are we, are we paying for it? No, we've just got an extra dollar. Yeah, go on then. So we need to buy one. So we're not saying. No. 
Uh, okay. No, it was where it was going. Highways had to agree where it was going. Right. Even better than what the tunnel's in? No, no, no. We just need a, a proper bin, which is nice. So a, a proper bin bin. But you haven't got too much room down there. Yeah, yeah no, that, that, that was the issue, but I think it was gone. I don't know where the matter is. I mean, we don't need to don't need a big bin. So we just need two dog bins. We've got one yeah. in hand, it sits there. We need yeah. another one, you're quite right. <laughs> but the, the one that goes to the church, we yeah. need to get approval first. Before we can even get there and buy some things, that's going to be a long, long haul in the first place. I don't think it's short. I've just got one approved for another count. Uh, so can you try and get one? <laughs> Let's, let's try and get one approved for Church Road. Yeah. Okay. Can, can, can you give me an example of that? Okay. Deborah, you want to know? Yes, yeah, I don't understand. There's very thin on Church Road. I'd like to do that. And then other than that, people use Church Black Bin. I thought you were talking about putting another dog bin if you were on Main Road or somewhere. So, I'm oh, sorry, there's a dog bin in the church? Now there's a dog bin on Church Road. Right, right, is that? Yeah, on Church Road. There is one on the corner. I always have been lying there. Which one are we talking about? Just near the arms house. Oh, really? Okay. Church Road, then a dog bin there. And when people walk through the churchyard, most of them use the church bin. I tell, you, I tell you what it, sorry, Chair. I tell you what it was about. It was that comment that someone said that there was a lot of bog waste in the churchyard. That's where the suggestion started off. But if you're saying to me, if you're right, there's no dog waste in the churchyard. Right, brilliant. In which case, we, we don't need it. Can we take them? Can we please move to the bog bin? And there's a red, there's a red dog bin on church road. Brilliant. Can we move the bog bin, please? Let's leave them back at the field. <laughs> It's a simple thing. Yeah, thank you. It's the most simple solution. Move it to a bay. So that's all the way to the bay. Yeah, I'm supposed to say everything. Just dig it in. Just dig it in. Okay. 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 So who would do that then? The grant? We might have to get someone to put a base somewhere. Could we? Just need a hole with. If we did, if it says one line, it's 
Well, I, 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 I don't care about the money. I'm yeah. concerned about who's going to actually physically replace them. Personally, personally within the parish, it's within the parish. And my personal I think that if the inner cost are replacing anything, then we should be taking that cost. Yeah. Is there a maintenance company that does this? Uh, we can always ask them. Uh, I don't know what keeps the key. It depends on the football whether they. Uh, I don't say it. I don't it does. It's something we need to ask. It's a good, it's a good question because yeah. when it does get used, what happens next? How do we know it's been used? Well, I guess we've lost some. <laughs> no, because you. I mean, I tried to go and get it about yeah. 18 months ago. And yeah. We found the ambulance and they said, go and get a defibrillator, go and get a number to punch in and get it. Yeah. And then we took it back once. Everything seems okay. Yeah. But somebody must have had a gun replaced. Was that it? Didn't you just take it back? Yeah. But, the pads, but no, we didn't the actually use it, so the pads didn't need replacing. Right. Yeah, the pads not every day. Did it? Yeah, so the council just usually monitors them. Oh, well, that's oh, not so bad. I thought they'd replay their income to use. Well, um, I've never known them on use yet, so I don't know about that one. It's, it's, it's a good bad question. Yeah. But is it not like fire extinguishers? There's a company that maintains them. They must do. They must be. We, we, we just can't uh, every year, don't we? To be quite honest, we've had the. Yeah, but if it's, good, good. If, if it's used three times a week, you could replace them that week before it would be used again. That's not what they're doing. We're right. we're 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 somebody must do a look at the can find that? 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 Can find yeah. Yeah. So you can make it it's something that maybe we've lapsed in the past, so we need to just make sure. We better deep it. Yeah. 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 I mean, if we take responsibility, we need to make sure somebody goes, it's going to work. Yeah. 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 That would be yeah. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, 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 it'll probably be like, uh, like fire extinguishers. Somebody goes out, checks them together. Yeah, but that's, that's what happens. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So we'll, we'll find out and then we'll. we'll just because it's undermining the present? It's because it's... Well, first of all, we had to lock it because it was on top of the building. Okay. And then um, further observation shows that it's actually going... Um, it's upheaving the, 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 the building. It's, it's creating, creating it to... Yes. But if we're going to pull that building down anyway, move it somewhere else. Well, we don't know what's happening with the building. 
at the moment. It's, 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 it's,
arrangement sponsorship to plant <coughs> plants, maintain and if there's money if there's money left over of course they can watch me a little bit from it as well. So that was the idea I had. Anybody? If there's money left over we should come the cash. Everybody. Do you know conversely, I mean the I don't know if the football club give you give you extent of what they raise from their their sides, but I mean I didn't I didn't come and ask you for, for money to buy up the first place, just when you did it. Uh, and it came in just under a hundred pounds of plants, material, uh, time and I mean, I, I go out there and water it, but I have to do some of the I've been going out there and watering it every other night with 75 litre can of water, but it's on my own litre. So to be quite honest, I, 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 I like it like that. They do like you say things water it. I personally think that anybody who takes initiative like that should, should pay that. That's just my opinion. You know, uh, things like that. Each individual, each individual thing would separate, but I don't think you should be out of pocket for making the village known. No, I don't think you should, but you yeah. need to come to us first and ask. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but if it's money, we, don't, we actually want to spend that. Like you know, there's a process. I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I'm not against. I don't think you should do it, at, you know, like that, Steve. If you can do I, I get what you're saying about sponsorship, but uh, and I agree with that person. The, the initiative originally came out of the fact that it sat there for three years with some really, really tatting. And uh, one, of the, one of the things that the Safer, safer um, uh, neighbourhood thing is that if you make your community look attractive and it looks as if it looks harder, then it discourages the antisocial element from coming in and doing what they like. Are they throwing all the way up to go back in again? Or? Um, it, the idea on my head, and obviously I've, I've put something down on the paper and presented it back to the parish council before I just went ahead and did it. But um, I think I think planting twice a year, so you've got winter when the stuff in there, and then and then bright summer stuff. So maybe uh, winter plants in the or something in the winter, and then something like six months and put it this year. Um, and uh, if I mean I guess once every six months. People, if they want to sponsor it, 200, 250 quid, if they want to pack up and it's reasonable, yeah. advertise their business, they can do that. But there'd, be, there'd have to be some sort of written contract that just says, you know, you're not going to put a massive orbit up there that there's that, something, you know, on the side of a, a farm lorry or something, something I think anything would have to come to a parish, but yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't expect you to keep putting money in Steve on something like that. I would be quite happy to bring you back to council and then us provide if everybody else would be happy with that. Uh, you know, if you do it twice a year, then I'm sure it looking nice. It would all look good. That's the only thing with that, because uh, it's always going to be dry when he's on the bank, so you're right. Would you be happy to do that? What, what do people think about the sponsorship board? It depends where, who, and what size, what size. A lot of issues on it. Would you be able to? Yeah, I can put some stuff down on paper yeah. and bring it back to you. It's easily really difficult, isn't it? It's really difficult because if, 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 I don't know, if, if, uh, I just have to be a and not to, yeah, I will, we'll, we'll, we'll sponsor that. Um, why, why would we say no? But like Steve said, to like Steve said it all depends on the next person who comes along. Yeah, it all depends on the size. Oh yeah, the size. Yeah, that, that's so you do we have a policy yeah. for advertising on the website, mm. and that's quite obvious, and it would sort of be the same scenario, so yeah. the same situation. I mean, there are certain things we would not want to do. Obviously. Mm. Um, and there are other things that we'd be quite happy with. So that's what I mean. Yeah, what Steve said is exactly right. If we make the entrance to the village each end nice, you yeah. drive the, the baddies away. But it, in my view, it's no good making it all nice and then we can't feed it with water. So I'm proposing that we, we ask James to find out from Angley Water can we have a stock cock put in there? 
with it so we can put some sort of post pod push on fit or some sort of you know where I'm coming from? So yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'll put it's easier in to in carry a hose pipe than what it's 25 meters yeah. for. Yeah, I'll put six of them in this one because they will be standing. And a bit of the use from the elements. So yeah. We'd have to have something that was locked. Yes. Because, if, you know, if. I'm sure if we went back to Angel Water Authority, they would say, tell them what we're trying to achieve. It wouldn't cost that much, and we could go back to. Stand on it. Top of the dig and say to him, is this funds available? This is how much it's going to cost. Can yeah. we put that in next year's preset? You know? I know it's... Um, we don't know what's happened with the pavilion, but surely the simplest thing would be to run a hose from the pavilion. Oh, no, the no, no, we're talking to the anchor. Oh, the anchor. Oh, the anchor. Oh, the anchor. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm right behind. <laughs> Very, very expensive. That will be thousands. Well, yes. that's, that's a, that's a, yeah, I, I agree. But it's worth asking. It's worth asking. Yeah, but in terms of just sponsoring what you're talking about, yeah. you know, in terms of the sponsoring, well, well, yeah, I've got a future project. Yeah, I thought we'd be talking about Anyway, let's just see what you can find out. I think in terms yeah. of what we're saying. Yeah. With the plants, with the plants, come back to us. From the from the label project perspective, again, it's a charity. We're a charity thing, so we we're on donations to raise money by everyone else. So that's why I thought, well, you know, a I don't want really to really continue paying the pump myself, yeah. but B do want that to get the stability really nice. Yeah. And see if we can raise a small bit of revenue with it as well. Then yeah. then that's that's good to do. And just what that's but the parish church will pay you know, if you come yeah. and ask us if money gets more far. Yeah. So yeah. So just just tell us what you want, come to us and then we'll go from there. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, to discuss Operation Bridge. Are <laughs> <laughs> well, we not discussing Operation Bridge? Yeah, no. No, no we've not to do. Yeah. Because you never know how long the channel is going to last. Oh, right. <laughs> Already, this is London Bridge. Well, geez, can't we get a few more that way first? Mm -hmm. I can't remember mm -hmm. which bridge it is. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. 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 the plot of London. Do you want to do the transmission? She felt that it's never too early. All right, so, yeah. so, yeah. so the last yeah. operation yeah. bridge, I'm guessing, went well. So I'm sure the, it would be exactly the same yeah. Yeah. for anything else. Yeah. Can, I, can I just add one little thing in that yeah. uh, it did go very well, thanks mainly to this gentleman. We did a lot of work getting everything together in the church. Yeah. And uh, uh, I handed it to Rob for all he did. Yeah. And I want my pen you? back sometimes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not to it? worry. <laughs> 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 okay. So this one then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, so you just we said God save the king. I think this is a, an indecorous well, thing to discuss, Frank. Because yeah. I can't hear What you've been talking about was not but the, Judith has mentioned about, you know how we had Operation Bridge, we went to Queen, we thought the Queen might <laughs> die in the next few years, so we had things in place, like a book of condolence and a picture and things like that. Yeah. So we had that in place. Judith's already asking if we should have something in place for Charles. So, <laughs> he might for another 20 years, but because we've got something in place already, then I think it just carries on that we do the same thing, but I don't think we need to do that yet, I think. What have we done with the book? Oh. That goes, Judith takes it out and it goes, uh, 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 u
Okay. We have to move on because it's down to Okay, to resolve one added sign to the play park fences saying no football boots. Yeah. Did that mention last meeting or is this the first no, meeting? Just okay, just quickly because it's nine o'clock. Uh, so we've, there have been people from the football club going on the play park and uh, with football boots on. And we, we think, well, it's been suggested that we put some signs up saying no football boots. Because it'll damage the surface. Not right? just that. If you have an accident, I'm sure they will take the council. Yeah, they'll come up. Which has happened before. Yeah. Uh, and have to pay someone two thousand pounds. So, would everybody agree that we get a couple yeah. of signs saying no? Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. okay. So yeah. Everybody yeah. okay with that? Or to say suitable wear because what if somebody goes on a wedding to do is a pull over the same thing. Yeah. We, we didn't that, could, that could be suitable footwear. We didn't specify wearing to. Once you specify one type of footwear, yeah. you're then saying everything else is okay. So you've got to be very careful with signs. Okay. Super footwear. Good, good. Good. Yeah, good point. Sounds very so, good. Point. Yeah. So is everybody. Okay, you can expand it a bit. So yeah, but hang on, the problem is the yeah. football boots. I'm the not sure boots. it's right if you oh, say yeah. ban one thing that leaves everything else. It does. Yeah, that's, that's why that's why Dick said suitable footwear because then people can't go on wellies or flippers or you know, yeah, the, the problem is going to be that if that's a rubberized surface, football boots will damage it. Yeah, yeah, well, well, that's not that the you, you were talking about people damaging themselves and suing us. And if you say that the only thing you can't wear on this is football boots, then I think you can wear football boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 I think or chocolate sandals on something and suing us. Well, put teams wear suitable footwear, no football boots. Yeah, that's fine. Put the battle. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, what makes Because the suitable object is football, football boots. Including yeah. football boots. So yeah. just putting no football boots. It's going to cause more problems. I think football boots have different types of football boots. All the studs and then these moulds and then the blades. I think along the fine back, there's also no ball games. I think we've got a sign there, do we? There was a sign. So where, where do we want to be on this? Because it's two issues. It's the damage with the football boots, and then it's the safety issue of them climbing on things. So do we need two separate signs? A sign with no football boots on the outside, on the football side, and then inside you have suitable footwear, or are you incorporating no, the info? Both on the outside, certainly no outfit you need. So is it two signs or one sign? One sign. One sign. No, what sign. No, what no, do we no, want no. on the side? And it needs to be near the gates. Yes. Please wear suitable oh, football. Yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, No football boots. Yeah. Is everybody happy with that? Yeah. So we're going to need two signs or one? Steve, one. One sign. One. 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 Two two signs. One. <laughs> <laughs> two signs. 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 Two yeah, yeah, just in yeah. passing, the one up near um, like the Tarrington end, yeah. what is happening with that? That's is getting it, replaced. Yeah, what we agreed on, mess. I think you're right. What we'd agreed on, which we're going to have to revisit, uh, we had agreed, actually, for that close meeting. I don't it think was, yeah, I won't mention it. Again. It did yeah. work again. When you were okay, so we need, to, we need to mention that in a close meeting, uh, which we'll have to be the next meeting. Is that all right? Make that close meeting. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay. Is that all right? Yep. Steve? Next meeting? No. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you very much for uh, coming. The next meeting, Thursday, the 3rd of November. Thank you very much. Thank you.